Hello, my dear. Hi. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me. Drama. Nice. And go. Okay, so today we're using Pam's uh, recipe cheesecake. Carol. And no. Carol's recipe? Mine is oh, blueberries. Hers is in the. Oh, oh mine's the Instapot. Oh, okay. What? It's yeah. yours. Then, okay. Carol. Gotcha. <laughs> Blueberry cheesecake. The only thing, well, I'll tell you later. Right now, I've just turned on the oven to 350, and I'm going to make um, cracker crumbs. Now you can buy um, a crumb crust. That's what I did. Uh, <laughs> what? That's what I did. <laughs> you can, but I find it. No, I don't. It's easy, easy to do this. You use about 10 to 12 of the crackers, these, these crackers, this mm -hmm. size, and uh, I already did half of them in here. And there's really nothing to it. It's super easy to do, and this is in a plastic bag. If you have any left over, if you make too much of the cracker crumbs, you can just leave it in the bag, wrap it up, and throw it in the freezer. Just make sure you know what it is. <laughs> and uh, you have plenty for next time. But about a cup and a half, two cups. And you add a little bit of sugar, a couple of tablespoons of sugar, and melted butter. Okay, so I'm confused. Is this Carol's or Pam's? It's Carol's. Oh, okay. I was incorrect. <laughs> All right. So, I'd... hey, Bonnie. Hi, Hi Bonnie. Hi. <laughs> so, you can see how difficult it was to make the this. Yeah, that's too yeah. hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put it in. Now you could add, oh, there's lots of, you could make this out of cookies. You could make it out of shortbread, make it out of Oreos. So with Oreos, I'd put it in a food processor. Um, but it's basically the, easiest thing in the world. And if you've got a a um, if you've got your own you're just you're just scooching it together. Now and you don't even have to pre-bake this or anything. It's just and you know what goes into it. So that's my, and you use something like this to press it in. And I like graham cracker crumbs a lot. So, and there you have it. That's it. It's all set. So now we're going to make the filling for it. And I'm going to use a hand mixer because, as I've told people, I didn't have a three-prong extension cord for my upright mixer. 
yesterday I just made it in the upright mixer because it's always on the on the uh, counter but so a couple of, of things of cream cheese this is a pound of cream cheese and three quarters, no, two thirds of a cup of sugar, just regular white sugar. And You don't want to be mixing it a whole lot because you don't want, I like the dense cheesecake, so I don't spend a whole lot of time mixing it. Um, I'm going to put in some sour cream, a glob, about half a cup. We measured. <laughs> yeah. Glob, a glob. <laughs> a glob. <laughs> and a little bit of vanilla. I love almond in my cheesecake. I just love almond extract. So, oh, and a pinch of salt. So, almond and vanilla extract. A little bit of flour, a, tea, um, a tablespoon of flour. I'm going to put the eggs in one at a time as I'm mixing them. So I've got one egg there. This may be the first recipe we've done that doesn't use butter. What? <laughs> it wasn't the crust. No, you put butter in the crust. Crust? Oh, yeah, that's true. Nope, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't have butter, Carrie, it isn't. Right? <laughs> Susan, I'm not arguing. <laughs> I know. It just... It's the way of it's the way of all things. Cream cheese count. Yeah, what? Well, yeah. There was a meme going around that said you're gonna come out of quarantine a chunk, a drunk, or a monk, or a hunk. <laughs> and I'm definitely coming out as a chunk and a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that's in that, that it, it's in this filling. It's super cinchy. As long as everything is room temperature. If you yeah. try it with, with cold cream cheese, it really doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Everything has to be room yeah, baby. temperature. The cheesecake is in the fridge. Take a peek. Why are you still wet? I'm dry. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. it Look at our blueberries. Lovely. Now, I'm, stuck. Put the, uh, I'm going to put this into the oven. Now, I have something to say about your recipe, Carol. Okay. <laughs> uh, I made it in the, in the Instant Pot. Uh -huh. Carol made it in the oven, and it wasn't, it, your recipe that you sent me said 25 minutes. I looked at it and I thought, 25 minutes, are you sure? 
and it wasn't right, Carrie. It took me forty uh -huh. at twenty-five I was minutes. Say, forty-five minutes at the basic. Yeah, yeah. Tw yeah. So twenty twenty. Um, I at twenty-five minutes, it was still pretty liquid, and then I put it in for another ten. And I was like, and then I put it in for another five, and then I stopped. <laughs> so, okay. start looking at it around 40 minutes. Okay. Um, that's all that I, I'm going to make, make it, I'm going to change the recipe um, and send it back out. Oh. Um, but I did make, I did make the um, Instant Pot again for Liz, because this one is going to Dan and Nadine. Um, and it was perfect the way I, re re I wrote it. So the oh. instant one works, it definitely works. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna start the blueberries, the top end. Um, this, okay, topping, and recipes are kind of weird for me because I've been known to just take blueberries and pour them over the top and just let it go. Yeah. Or um, a can of blueberry pie filling, <laughs> add a little booze to it and it's great. Cherry pie filling, fresh <laughs> strawberries that, that have been sliced are perfect. You can do any kind of topping you want on top of this. I'm gonna make blueberries. I've washed these, but I'm gonna make, make um, fresh blueberries, but I'm not gonna add all of the blueberries to it. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in, and a little bit of sugar. And I'm gonna start cooking this up over in a minute but you can make a slurry with cornstarch and water that here's I'd start with like a teaspoon more or less, and a little bit of water, cold water, and mix that up together. And that will thicken up anything that's cooking, you know, a thin, mm -hmm. the thin blueberry juice that comes out. I'm going to I'm going to add these at the last minute so that they're really not cooking very much. Um, I kind of like them uncooked, at, at least some of the texture of them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to move this over. I like to use the slurry also. If these blueberries were frozen, they give off a lot of juice. Mm -hmm. Blueberries that are frozen, as soon as they defrost, they, it's like tons and tons of juice. So you're dissolving the medium heat and you're dissolving the sugar and like you, you saw, I didn't add very much water to it. Mm -hmm. um, so Kate, what's the difference between using cornstarch and flour for thickening? Not much. Because I, I used flour in mine. And as long I was like, as long as I cook out the raw taste, it'll be fine. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, that's the only thing. Now, cornstarch tends to thicken immediately. Mm. As soon as it's in there, it cooks. I mean, it's, it will thicken. Um, I'm gonna put a couple more in here. Um, 
Whereas flour, it takes a little while, but not much. It really doesn't matter. Um, you can see it's the, the juice is beginning to be blueberry colored, the water. And Kate, does this slurry, well that, is it a good standard one for like using strawberries or anything, or anything else? And you've got a, you know, you're just making sure that it isn't cement. Right. You've got enough water in there. And <coughs> if I can show you, I'm gonna give this another minute or two. It's already smelling like blueberries. I like the smell of blueberries. Mm. Give it a, a minute or two. And then and it just thickens it up right away. Just a little bit. I know I said three tablespoons, but uh, like I did one tablespoon. Now you see it needs to, it's cloudy, mm -hmm. it looks cloudy. When it starts to boil, aha, now you can see it gets clear. I don't know if you can actually see it but it's really kind of what's the difference between cornstarch and arrowroot um arrowroot i i don't know a lot of arrowroot but, but arrowroot is kosher uh -huh. and is no, made not, corn you're talking kosher. about passover i'm talking about for passover right i only use arrowroot for Passover. Okay. Okay. But you can see, look, it's very thick. It's like jam now. Mm -hmm. And it's really kind of cool. Okay. So I'm going to move back. And I didn't use the whole thing. I, I can throw this away. And I'm going to get the cheesecake that I made. In the instant pot. Now I ran a knife around the edge yesterday. I'm going to do it again today because it's been in the fridge. A baby cheesecake. Very sweet. Da, um, Liz is a, really a fan of all of this lovely um, graham cracker crumbs. She's, mm -hmm. She would like me to do like half, half of it graham cracker crumbs and half <laughs> whatever. <laughs> So, now, and I had paper on the bottom, and because this is dead cold, it really works out well. So I'm going to put some of the uncooked on top, and then I'm going to put some of the cooked on top, make it all glazy. But again, you can do whatever you want for the topping. And have it. Cheesecake. 
Dawn. And it, it looks fabulous. And believe me, it tastes equally fabulous. Let's see if I can do the lighting better. There we go. You know? Gorgeous. Beautiful. I think you should bring it to my house now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I made this according to the recipe that I, I gave you for the Instant Pot. Everything was exactly the way we, you know, I wanted it. And um, I don't know, should we try cutting into it and see if it's all right? Yes. Sure. <laughs> Definitely. And see in mine, because Noelle is not always game with the fruit, I'm gonna wait until we actually cut slices to put the fruit on. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, you can just serve it on the side. Yeah. Okay. So get yourself a, a plate. A virtual plate. Virtual plate. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Yes. Beautiful. Wow. Of course, it's falling down, so you can't see <laughs> the texture of it. Lovely. But the texture is quite lovely. And hopefully I'll have, I have worked the right amount of crust to cheesecake. <laughs> you know, Liz is going to eat half that cheesecake, right? <laughs> going to eat more than half of that cheesecake. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> yeah, if history, if history, <laughs> repeats itself. <laughs> I made the one that I posted that I didn't put blueberries on mm -hmm. is ate it. Yeah. <laughs> we have one and a fourth of it. So <laughs> Liz, I have to say you have the best quarantine situation of any of us. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You really, you really hit the jackpot there. <laughs> now, yeah, well, like I tell, uh, next week I'm going to do uh, sheet pan dinners. Mm -hmm. And um, because I make sheet pan dinners a lot, right, Liz? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's all, you know, I it, it's easy to cut up two potatoes rather than just one. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, right? you just do it. And um, so we share a lot. We do. <laughs> Love it. So next week, that's what we're going to be doing. All right. Do you guys have any questions about the cheesecake? No, the one the one in the Instapot looks fabulous. Right. Yeah. Looks wonderful. It's, I'm anxious. I'm anxious to eat ours. It's in the fridge, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you let me know, okay? I will. Um, cheesecake always seems. It was always when I was growing up. Cheesecake was sort of mysterious. You know, nobody made it. And it was a mysterious thing, at least for my mother's sisters. Well, you know, they used to put that other topping on it. My mother, you know how there used to be, instead of fruit, they put that extra sour cream layer? Oh, right. Yeah. There was another complete layer to it. It was yeah. a big deal. Yeah. And you put it in a bain marie. It used to be such a big deal. And I put it together in, in and I made the crust. Mm -hmm. like, together in in like 10 minutes um, mm -hmm. right Carrie I mean it was really easy to put it was together. really easy I did it on my lunch break today <laughs> I'm with I'm with Carol though I always put mine in a bain marie well oh, no I this doesn't have to be that's what I liked about it it doesn't have to be no, no. in a no. what a bain marie it's a water bath 
A water oh, bed. got it. Oh, yeah. I wrap just didn't know that foil. thought it was called. First you wrap it in cling wrap, then you wrap it in foil, and then you put it in a boiling <laughs> right. water. And it's, it's tedious. It's but this one animals. you don't have to do. You don't have to. No one you don't have you to. You stick it in the oven. Mm -hmm. In the oven. And, and I'll be darned. I'm going to try that then for sure. Yeah. I, I would just make sure that you cook it until the center kind of doesn't jiggle very much. Like 40 minutes sounds like a plan rather than the 25 in the recipe. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and again, in the Instapot, I think it came out as good as the ones we used to do with the water bath. I, you know, yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing. It looks beautiful. It's holding yeah. together perfectly. It does not have a crack in it like you sometimes would get. If you put it in the oven without a water bath, it would get a crack in it. Well, yeah, mine, mine has a couple little cracks in it. It's fine. I don't yeah. care. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's why you have a topic. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you just cover up the crack. It's cool. <laughs> or if anyone's gonna work. My theory is if anybody's going to complain about the crack, you really don't want to, them eating your cheesecake anyway. You know, I have to say, guys, that was my first cheesecake. I The only other time I've ever made a cheesecake when I was in my postage stamp apartment, it was like this big. Kate remembers. Yeah. And, um, and I made a cheesecake. And it, the, the batter or whatever tasted fine. And I put it in the oven and it came out and it was awful. Like just awful. So bad. I just dumped it in the trash and I never made a cheesecake again. Aww. And so this was, this is my, my, uh, my comeback cheesecake. Tell me that story. No. <laughs> I was so shocked. I was like, but it tasted so good before it went in the oven and it came out and I don't know <laughs> what I did, but it was awful. Maybe you didn't put, I don't know. I don't know. What I don't know. know. Something else that you can put in cheesecake that makes it taste very nice um, is lemon. Lemon zest, lemon juice. Mm -hmm. um, Particularly if you don't have any sour cream and you're using regular cream, you can use regular cream. Mm -hmm. and then just throw in some some lemon peel, well, some lemon zest, and lemon juice. You can play around with this however you want it. Want it to, you know, whatever you want to do with it, you can do. Love it. I haven't made a chocolate cheesecake, but it sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I made a chocolate chip cheesecake. Oh, oh but not chocolate. Oh. Well, yeah, I could fold in chocolate chip but chips in that. That would be you know, this yeah. baby. The only trick with oh, baby chocolate room. chips is you want to put them in a little bowl with flour. And mm. before you put them in. Before you put them in. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise they'll all go to the bottom. Yes. Oh, that's a good I tip. Use Oreo cookie crumbs in the for that. Crumb. Yeah. That. Make it so. Make it so. <laughs> Make it so. Make it so. It's, Pat, it's Patrick Stewart I mean, on my who phone. Like cheesecake. <laughs> cheesecake is so good. Well, there you have it. And awesome. next week, next week, sheep dinners. Sheep and dinners. dinners. Love it. Pan dinners, and you can either you can use chicken or salmon or what or not or just plain vegetables. Any one of those would be fine. Right? That's going to be fabulous. Yes, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. I have a question. I kind of got confused. There was talk about one of the recipes. That either the oven was too hot or the cook time was too long and I think Carrie yours burned up in the oven or something like that. I don't, I don't know what it was or what the fix was. So okay so it was the fig frangipan that we okay. did and Kate had told us 425 and that was not correct. It was 375 right? 75. 375. Oh. I so the time back. the time was right, but the 
<laughs> but the, but the uh, temperature was wrong. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this one, I'm going to correct the recipe for the, the time. Yeah. Okay. Like 40, 40 to 45, I think would be. Much more to the point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. All right. I have to go make dinner before back to school night tonight for a little one. So <laughs> we're having hot dogs because I'm not doing anything. Um, <laughs> we're having hot dogs and cheesecake. We're having hot dogs and cheesecake. <laughs> hey, you can't do better than that. You really can't. <laughs> uh, ladies, thank you. Highlight of my week. Thanks for the recipe, Carol. Thank too. you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Everything looked so good. Bonnie, what were you saying? This has been the highlight of my week once again. Yeah. Again. I, I know. Last oh, week, I was so sad. <laughs> just, you know, this is just fun, not a Zoom meeting. It's so yep, fun. It is. <laughs> All right. Love you, ladies. Love so, you guys. Have a good week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.